through my waterline yeah, with that dark too. coffee line. When people say they can do their makeup with their eyes closed, watch me do it. You should not be fighting with me to come out like that. Why? Hey. Can this open? It doesn't open. It's finished. Oh my goodness, my Fenty Beauty is finished. Yay, 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 yay. What am I going to do now? What is up, beauty? What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? It's time for life. So today, I got a lot of masks on deck. I got they're all homemade masks. And the thing that I struggle with the most is to find a makeup routine that will make it that it won't smudge. So basically, I've been wearing no makeup. And some of them, you know, the Vanish Oxy Action Max will take any stains off your mask. But, you know, I got loads of them. I'm showing off my mask right now. But yeah, it's really not working all the time and so basically because of that i stopped wearing makeup when i'm wearing masks i saw that our good sis jackie aina has come up with such a good thing which is i'm going to show you how to minimize this because it's really annoying the underside of the mask when it turns the color of your face i got pimples and everything we're just gonna ignore we're just gonna go with it okay as I normally do at the beginning of my makeup routines, I start with a bit of primer. Now, prime primer. Okay, so I've got a few options here. I've got this DHC uh, makeup primer, and it's I think it's got silicone in it because that's how it feels like. And then I've got this Fenty Beauty, obviously the Pro Filter Soft Matte primer now i am noticing that my lips are looking a little bit ashy so i'll use the jack black lip balm silicone. if it if it's looking like that if it looks like this it must be silicone but you see she uses loads oh yeah see how that goes on that's supposed to kind of minimize pores in that that's primer done let's move on Primer helps with a lot of different things it helps with long wearability of the makeup it helps to i feel like i haven't put enough like you see how her face is all kind of like white? I feel like mine isn't really doing that. But you can feel the stuff on there, so I don't know. Kind of create a protective barrier between your bare skin and the makeup itself. I just find the primer even more important because it gives the makeup something to stick and hold on to. And I hope you guys don't mind, but it's not necessarily about the products that you use for the most part. It's mainly technique, which is going to save you a lot of trouble. That was the Skin Fetish Primer. All right, set my primer with my translucent powder. This is my universal tip. Honestly, for long wearability and makeup in general, all year round, I put, before I go in with any other complexion product, I set it down. You kinda gotta give your dewy products a break. And I'm telling you this because most of those dewy products are not long wearable. They don't set down. They don't stay in place. They're dewy, so there's more moisture. And in the summer, they're wonderful. I love them, but the reality is those are the products that are going to move around and they are going to end up everywhere just because that's just how they're formulated. I usually do my foundation as a final step. I'm going to contour. I'm going. Yes, I don't do contour. In fact, I don't I even mean, have the products to contour. So I'm just going to sit this one out. I'm going to also add my concealer and then I'm going to show. Concealer I do have. Show you exactly how I apply my foundation because this is a game changer, baby. All of a sudden I got more matte. Yes, yeah, because it's translucent powder. The yeah, I don't have translucent powder, so I'm literally using like powder powder. Yes, this is baby powder. Remember when that was like a thing and everybody was using this baby powder all over their face? Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm doing now because I just don't have the translucent powder. I mean, my thing is I don't really wear makeup that often to justify buying all these things. So basically, I just make do with what I've got. But that does mean because I have oily combination skin... It does mean that sometimes hmm, it just doesn't work and it's not full, it's, it's not smudge proof. And I do have some issues with that. So, Let's see what else we gotta do. I realize that because the mask kind of sits like right under the under eye, if you don't set this really well and prep it really well, it's gonna be one of the first things to go to. So, baby, if you have dark circles and you're one of those people where the longer you wear concealer throughout the day, it just shows up even more, even more, even more, and it looks way more obvious, make sure you call it correct. Don't get me wrong, I'm not playing into the verbiage that dark circles are ugly by no means. I'm just saying, if you don't want to see it, here's how. Also, going in with a really, really, really light. 
bright color right on top of your color corrector helps tremendously. If we look at her concealer, okay, I put like three pumps, and mine, it's like, mine is non-existent. Your face needs to look another color. So basically, that's what I'm gonna try and do. I left all these pimples because I was saying that she would teach us how to like, you know, get rid of those, but she doesn't have any pimples, so she doesn't really have to do that. I'm gonna be using Pat McGrath's foundation, Skin Finish. And a lot of times I use this with the first time skin to blur, but I'm So what I'm gonna use is my Fenty Beauty, a uh, little, what's this thing called? Pro Filter in 490. And as you can see, this thing is almost finished, so it would be amazing if something even comes out of this thing. But we'll see. This is not the first time I'll be hey. using Primal Seal in Hey, come off. Come off, Fenty Beauty. Come off. I know I've used you so much, but oh my goodness. Is this even gonna work? Oh, this is terrible. Come on. Okay. Can this open? It doesn't open. It's finished. Oh my goodness, my Fenty Beauty is finished. Yay, 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 yay. What am I gonna do now? And you're all over my laptop. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go, 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 come on. I think it's because I've been putting it down like that. Anyway, I think that's about enough. Thank the Lord that there's some in here. To this tutorial, I do it like while I'm doing my makeup, while I do my foundation, and I also do it as a final step. But before I go in with my foundation, I'm gonna spray my brush. And then working towards the center of the face, I'm going to start applying okay the only the only brush that i have that looks like her brush is this guy which i think it's not really gonna it's not a very ergonomical way to oh my goodness what a, it's not a very ergonomical way to do the to do the face so maybe i'll just use my uh what's this thing called my booty blend my boob booty blend i just use my beauty blender and put some of this setting spray on there and see if that works oh my gosh this is a mess i know it i know it but whatever we're having fun right we're having fun <laughs> that foundation setting spray not sure if you guys know this and i actually heard this oh that's a lot of foundation she's using anyway okay wait how did she do it again what is it tutorial I, I go in with my foundation i'm gonna spray my brush and then working towards the center of the face oh center to start applying that foundation setting sprays not sure if you guys know this and i actually heard this and got this information from a chemist setting sprays actually work more efficient this way because you're like literally like they're formulated to be used with the product not just as a sealant on top okay so she's saying that setting products are actually supposed to be used with foundation and she learned this from a chemist so it must be true i need way more foundation if i want to do what she's doing so thank you fancy beauty for still providing for me i need more makeup so i'm so serious in this video you guys i promise i'm not serious in every video but i'm really like i've been watching jackie anna for like a decade or whatever and i am still learning how to use makeup <laughs> Which sounds crazy. I watch her, I look at the products and I'm like, yeah, my, my budget isn't set up to be buying these things. But also, I watch her and I'm like, she's just so fun to just watch, just without the makeup. I'm just like, yeah, I, um, I love to watch her. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen, right? I have another shade. This is, this is gonna be interesting. This is a different shade. This is the Pro Filter. This is also Fenty Beauty, but this is in another shade. I think it's the 495 or something, but the color has started doing something very funny. So yeah, um, oh my gosh. Well, looks close enough to me. Um, we're just gonna use that. And again, we're gonna put the setting spray. Oh, by the way, the setting spray is by Urban Decay. Urban Decay, whatever. In any case, my other side of my face might be a totally different color, but it is what it is. It's all about the smudge proofness, right? I mean, the pimples are there, but that's not what this video is about. So, it is what it is. 
I think that's enough full coverage. It's gonna get better soon. I'm not taking it all the way down to my neck because as I said, I just wanna see this much proofness of it also. Okay, so I blended out the foundation. I'm gonna do one final spray all over and then just set it in with my sponge. <laughs> setting powder. Extra added layer of protection. Make sure that you've set the entire face. If not the whole face, girl, at least around the chin and the jawline. These are our danger zones. Preferably translucent because you want your skin to breathe. Mask knee is a thing. A breakout around the jawline and the chin due to the continued use of masks. First of all, also make sure you're cleaning your masks regularly. I utilize the medical ones a lot. Like I'll wear them maybe like two or three times. Once they start getting like not cute and dusty, I throw it away and change mine out. So I'm not constantly wearing, you know, the same dirty mask all the time. Oh my, oh no. This oh my goodness there's fenty all over my computer oh my no 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 oh this for what i don't know so as you can see this baby powder stuff hey it's doing the dang thing i really don't like blending and i know who stopped using this and i don't really know why a lot of african parents love to put powder on their oily kids faces so i'm just like okay i don't know why i use this side so i'm just like there are some people who have been doing this for decades. That's all they know to do. And now people are doing it. People are discovering it on YouTube and they were like, oh my goodness, you can use baby powder instead of all these expensive powders. And I was like, yeah, duh. And then all of a sudden it disappeared from the face of the earth. I don't know what happened, but I can imagine if you're a beauty brand and everybody's using, uh, everybody's using just normal Johnson and Johnson that you can get for, three pounds or three euros or three dollars or whatever i'm quite sure they're not very happy about that so i usually used to put this on my eyes but i'm gonna see what she's gonna do for her eyes by the way this is something i i painted myself super cute okay so the baking powder is obviously different than the translucent powder i think if you just stick with something like fenty beauty which is cheap which is very cheap and just has everything there i think that helps but i don't have the three concealers i don't have the concealer that's my like supposed to be the, the what two shades lighter that your concealer is supposed to be in, and then the one that's like super light like five shades lighter or whatever that's supposed to highlight under your eyes and then there's another one did she put three i think so so this is good because this place gets oily. Seven Divine Rose palettes. We're talking about palettes. I used to have a palette. I threw the thing away because it was old. And I'm, I, I sometimes just keep makeup for years and years and years. And that's not very good. So all I have, this is literally all I have, okay? And I have the Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty as well. For my eyes. That could be for my eyes. Exhibit A. And then I have the MAC perfectly lit mineralized skin finish which sometimes i use for my eyes as well and then i have the anastasia beverly hills and that literally has only four shades and that's what i've been using for a while dare i say years yeah because i just don't use makeup like that like i don't know like some people are trying to be influencers and they're out here buying all this makeup and it's like but are you going to use it but do you really need it though I just don't do that kind of stuff. She's not telling us what she's using, but I know that that's concealer. And so I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I'm also just gonna go over it quickly with my fingers because my eyelids get very oily. According to Trisha Potatoes, um, black people always have, hello? Black people always have oily lids. I don't know, man, I don't know about all that, but okay. My lids are oily is there ever a time when people were not doing this with concealer i don't know i feel like that became a thing all of a sudden watch people go out trying to buy three different concealers because they think that's the way their mask is gonna stay on which it probably is but you know you know how she's he, she's applying it like like a pro so there, yeah, there's a lot to be said for that as well Oh, that's better. You see, it's all about the blend. Smoky kind of grayish lavender color here. And I'm going to right on top. Basically starting kind of inner crease and then working my way upward. Really light and really clean, really minimal. You Just do your best. I'm going to take that yogurt color once again. The same one that we used the second time. This one here. When she said yogurt color, I was so happy because I thought that was going to be like white. But yeah, no, no white. I'm just going to do the best with what I 
what I can with what I have. And then her outer outer is a little bit more darker. So I'm gonna use this fuchsia pink to just go on the outer. And I don't even know if you're gonna see this because my camera is crap. So it doesn't even have a viewfinder, it broke off. So yeah, it's, um, it's interesting to say the least. It's like you have to do camera makeup. You always have to do it a, a bit more so that it actually shows up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Back into the brown. And I'm not showing you guys this very well because I'm no beauty guru. I used to think I sort of was in my own little head because I would make looks work with minimum amount of product. But yeah, I do not have a PhD in makeup like Jackie Ann over here. I don't even know how people actually finish makeup. For me, it's like it falls apart. It falls somewhere on the floor or whatever. Or I, I just, or it's old. That's, these are the two things. These are the two things. I don't think it has ever finished with me. Lipstick's finished, but all this stuff, no. I was very messy, quite loose-handed with my makeup. Just go back in there to cover up that white over there. And I've overdone it so that you can see it on camera, but you probably won't. Now I'm going in with the brown again, because I need to kind of make it sort of kind of like what she's doing, but you know, I don't have the stuff, so. On my lid, love. Hold on a second, she put some concealer. My concealer is not even that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna use concealer, I might just use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is gonna be interesting. This is an old one, so I can't use it for my lips, for my eyes, because I'm probably not gonna use it ever no more. Look at that. See? That is something. When I say old, it's just like it's finished. You see, I do finish my lip stuff, but so you do that all the way to your crease. Now, a lot of people do this. They do their make their lip. Um, what do you call it? They put all their eyeshadow on their eyes, and then they start doing this. Also, actually, there would have been another option than this cream lipstick, which I'm just seeing now, which is the Prep and Prime from Mac. But I've tried this a few times. And because it's not meant to actually stay on top of the face and because it's meant to kind of you kind of twist like that and then you put it like where your pimples and things are because it's not meant to kind of stick it's meant to be underneath everything basically is what I'm trying to say it's it's supposed to be underneath everything it's not supposed to show so when you put it on after a while it becomes this it becomes like this very like faint situation so it doesn't help for cut crease, whereas this lipstick, oh, there's a bee trying to get in. No, you won't. Whereas this lipstick is meant to be on top of your lips, so probably will stay up there longer. Now something has gone on top of the cut crease. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this, this color here. It's not like I have a lot of choice, but okay. And stamp that on there. Maybe that'll do something. I don't know. Let me know if you can see something happening. So it's like a dual chrome kind of color. It's kind of blue, it's kind of pink, it's kind of purple. Trio, eh? dual chrome, trio chrome. Is that a thing? I don't know. Ooh, this is giving me, ooh, ooh. Ooh, darling, this is giving me real. Oh, maybe, I, maybe I've finally done it. Listen, it's all about having the right product. Maybe I've finally done it. You guys, I'm actually, I'm actually waking up now. My, my real true personality and real true self is coming out now because I'm excited. Okay, before I was like a student in a class where everybody's getting taught stuff and you're the only one behind like, eh? When did we learn this? But now I feel like I'm ahead of the game. I'm the first in the class. I am making do with whatever. Okay, I, I don't, I don't got a calculator. So what I'm going to do? I'm gonna use pen and paper and still pass the class. How about that? So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey, look at you. Hey. So then I'm gonna use the brown and go round and about and around and about, round and about, round and about and around and about. I, because it's not so harsh on her. I don't have a darker color. What do I have? I do have black. Ha 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 ha, this is from Lord knows who because it's all rubbed out, but I'm sure it's Mac. So this is what I do. I I am so messy when it comes to makeup. Look, I'm just gonna draw a line like that and draw a line like this so that I really look like one of your African aunties. Not that I look like this. I use this thing, 
the same. I sometimes use one, one brush for everything. So it's all about the blending, you guys. We can blend this into amazingness and not panda eyes. It's all about the blending. Like, if you see something you don't like, just keep blending till you like it. See? Are you seeing this? Maybe not, because my camera is crap. It's also all about the products you use. So this brush, it is supposed to be a blending brush, but it's not the best blending brush. Um, but, you know, it's doing, it's doing the trick. Listen, these things are expensive. All these things are expensive. Even if you told yourself you were going to get a little bit of makeup so that by New Year's Eve, you can make the best, the most bomb uh, makeup look to bring you into the new year. So in January, you're going to start. You're going to start buying makeup. And you're going to start... You're going to start just buying little things every, every month, even if it's 50 pounds, dollars, euros, whatever. You might get to December and still not have what it takes to, to do what even what Jackie Anna is doing in this video alone. That's how crazy this stuff can be. Because there's so many products and things that you need to get. It's actually crazy. Like what I have now, it's something that I accumulated over time. Which is why by the time you get to a point where you're comfortable with what you have, some things are expired, whatever. They're old, you know, they're older. I mean, they say after two years, you're supposed to throw everything away, but... Hmm. She has it white a lot here. I'm putting it on top of the black. I'm just literally making do with what I have. You guys, who is going anywhere these days anyway? And if you're going somewhere, if you're somebody who is always wearing makeup, try going to a party with nothing. Just your amazing, healthy, good skin and see. See what people will say. Some people might be like, wow, you look so different. What is it? It's like, yeah, man, this is this is just me. This cost me zero time at all. I've had that sometimes where I was late to like a party or whatever. And I used to always put on makeup. And then I was like, nah. Instead of being late, I'm just going to not wear makeup then. And so I'll do that. And oh boy. It was something else because people would not even recognize you because you just look natural. Anyway, let's continue. Now that I look totally like Jackie Aina, now, we're going to continue. It was weird. My translucent whatever, baby powder, whatever, is kind of, hmm, how to say? It's not looking like hers. Hers really looks like it's still on top of the face, whereas mine looks like it's dissolved into the face. Like, it's gone. It's going. That's that's what oily skin will do to you, but also I'm not using the same product that Jackie Aina is using, so maybe that's why. Eyeliner just hits different. Do I know you? I just want to know why have we been letting people breathe on us unprovoked this entire time? What have we been doing wrong? I feel like we should be <laughs> like, question. I love wearing a mask. I don't know what the hell's wrong with some of y'all that exactly. don't wear a mask, but I'm never letting y'all breathe or even look in my direction unprovoked ever again. She's so right. Like, from now on, like, for, from now till forever, we'll be telling our children and our children's children, like, cough in your elbow, stay away, like, don't come in my personal space. I do not need to smell what you had for breakfast. I just don't. I don't even need to see what you had for breakfast. I just don't. Just stay. Okay? Good. Fine. We're cool. My lid color, I also put it as a little inner corner highlight. I did put an inner corner highlight. I don't forget. I just did it off camera. <laughs> the thing fell out. I don't have a brown eyeliner pencil so i'm using black why is it doing that why in fact all my stuff is old you know what i'm gonna be doing from now on lord willing i'm just gonna sit here watch these tutorials and just maybe chat to you guys or whatever whilst i follow some of these tutorials because this makeup gotta finish i paid good money for it so i'm not gonna throw it away but it, some of this stuff's gotta finish and it's gotta go on my face not the bin so now that i look like michael jackson i'm gonna smudge it out with this guy, as you can see, it's all by the same brand, which I don't even know what brand that is. I actually got this from a friend. Hi, friend. Watch me smudge this thing out with my eyes closed. Quite literally, when people say they can do their makeup with their eyes closed, watch me do it. I'm starting to wonder why these things are so long, when I only need to hold it like a pen, kind of here. Why Why do I have all this part to the... I don't know. Maybe it looks good on pictures. You just like... New brushes by... Makeup Geek. New brushes by Elf. Oh, I look like Jackie Anna here and like Michael Jackson here. How am I gonna fix that? I think I went too close to my waterline. Where are you, black eyeline pencil? Come back. 
I go down a little bit, well, no, <laughs> it's falling down. What am I gonna use now? Oh my goodness, what a mess. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy. Yeah, this is not the same thing, but gonna do it with my eyes closed. Ah, I'm gonna do it with my fingers. Make sure these long nails don't get into my eye. Well, it's good enough for me. I think I look like an Egyptian queen. Large. I like to smudge a little bit of that liner. So taking this deep chestnut brown color from Pat's palette, I'm gonna go right over that liner just to smudge and stamp that in a little bit more. So now Wait, which liner? Hey, I'm so confused too. In fact, I'm just gonna skip this because this is not part of the mass smudging situation, okay? I just wanna look like her as much as possible with the least amount of products. Also, she said she did something with inner corner highlight with one of those colors because she always does an inner corner highlight. But the thing that I use to do that is Gone with the Wind. So I'm gonna use this, which I think is supposed to be for your eyebrows. But anyway, I'm gonna use this color again. The mascara known as Dark Star. <laughs> So as I said to you guys earlier, anyway, change massive. So I only have the bad girl. Bam! I got that one. And another one that's hideous. NYX, on the rise. On the rise to where? You better have been risen because this, this right here, it's like a sample. It is horrible. Even the way it comes out, it's like, it's it's trying not to come out. It's, mm -mm. you should not be strong. You should not be fighting with me like this to come out. Look, look at that. You should not be fighting with me. To come out like that why and the bristles they're hard and oh, just terrible but i'll try and use it if i feel like it but this right here bad girl bang is amazing and then there's another one which i'm a christian folk ain't gonna like me saying this but it's called the better than mascara imagine calling your product better than that is and I have a special technique for the bottom lashes that I'm going to show you because I don't even necessarily wear mascara the same now because of the mask wearing. This is how you know you have, she has a PhD because before nobody was wearing masks. It was like nobody was wearing masks, right? And now people are wearing masks and she has already figured out a way to do a bottom line, her bottom lashes with mask on because she's just, she's just so inventive and cool like that. Hey, me, I'm not doing that too. Oh yes, the Fendi Beauty does have a mirror. Oh, thank you, good sis Rihanna. Thank you, Riri. Ooh. 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 Also, she's done her eyebrows. Oh, we're not gonna do our eyebrows together. Oh, in that case, let me just do what I always do. Use this, and I'm pretty sure people used to think this is weird, but not all the eyebrow thingies come with a wand, so you might as well use your mascara. We haven't done the bottom lashes, but she says she had a trick for that. So I'm just gonna quickly go into, well, mine has, is the MAC Stud Eyebrow Styler. Can't even speak, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm everything. Like these people sit there and they do this for hours to get the makeup to look amazing. And most of the time to go absolutely nowhere. And especially these days, it's definitely to go absolutely nowhere. Unless you're one of those influencers who act like they don't even have half a brain, then, you will be going somewhere. But those are also the same people who don't really post anymore. So, anywho. Pay attention. I tend to, instead of like stroking all the way down every single bottom lash, I hold my mascara on vertically, vertically. I keep it straight up and down. I tend to hit the lashes at the base only. Do you see I'm pulling my brush up really quickly like that? That's because instead of stroking downwards, I'm stroking away from my lash, almost kind of flicking it. This will never work with some of these clumpy, clumpy mascaras, okay? Because you're just gonna leave clumps of mascara on there. You need to brush it out kind of thing. So I'm noticing a little bit of that with this Bad Girl Bang mascara by Benefit, but it's an interesting technique. I'm doing it a bit quick. It's an interesting technique because it ensures that the eyelashes are, you know, coming out kind of thing instead of them being flat. But I've never done it like this before and I really have that urge. I really, really have that urge of wanting to kind of comb through them. But let's see what else she's 
got going on. Imagine having a close-up of your face like this and being completely unbothered knowing that you look this good. I live for cream and liquid blushes all day, every day, no matter the season, rain or shine. But again, mask, danger zone. This. When did she get rid of her? Oh my goodness, no. Okay, the thing is that, you know, for those of us that have been watching Jackanna for a while, you kind of know what she's doing. The under eyes look very set. I don't got a blush because a while ago they didn't even have blush for people like me of my complexion. So I'm going to use the good old Ruby Woo by MAC. I once told a makeup artist at MAC this and she was like, oh my gosh. Listen, I think this is more effective. I think this is the best blush color for somebody of my complexion. I've put a little bit of highlight. Heck, I'm going to put some here. Using a lip product like a liquid lipstick that's mattifying, sets, doesn't move around. Obviously, is the reoccurring theme of all of the routine and tutorial here. It's actually kind of a beige. Okay, so she's putting on kind of a beige. I don't got a kind of a beige. But what I do got is this NYX liquid suede. Because I got another one. So this is in the color 4. That is the completed makeup look, but we're not done though. We still need to final seal our entire face. To be honest with you, you don't even have to really do this on your entire face. I'm just gonna really focus it on the bottom half area and pat that into my skin. If you have dry skin, baby, I don't know if this is the tutorial for you. Look, there's nothing on there. Wow, that's amazing. I wonder what it would do after a few hours though, but there's nothing there. All I'm seeing is black stuff, which is from my mascara, which is probably still drying. But yeah, this this is amazing. Cheek, I'm giving you. Yeah, I can't do that because my lips are still not dry. Foundation is really set. Like, I actually don't feel like I have foundation on. If there's anything I've learned from this is to press this into your skin a few times actually. Like anytime you spray this, spray it onto your brush or your beauty blender, and then spray, put it onto your face and and just kind of let it sink in i think that is such a good idea because it works very well and even though my face does look dewy because of the highlight it's absolutely not and nothing is coming off this is amazing thank you so much jacana like this has actually really worked for an oily combination skin girl like me and if you want to know what kind of skin you have like the t-zone obviously is a telltale sign that if the t-zone here is oily you have oily combination skin if the rest of your face is kind of dry or just kind of normal I once went to a Kiehl's counter and the lady there had this thing that she stuck on your face and then it would tell whether you're oily combination or normal. And then she said normal and I was like, I've never been normal. I'm oily combination. She was like, no, you're normal. And she was telling me that the seasons sometimes change what your skin does. So keep that in mind as well. And that's why I think when you're going to be putting on a lot of makeup, you need your summer shade, you need your winter shade. But now everybody's in the house, like she was saying, so... Everybody kind of is rocking their winter shade right about now. Also, speaking of shades, you realize that I use two different shades of this Fenty Beauty kind of. I use the 495, I think, and the 490, the other way around. And it looks kind of the same. That's not bad at all. That right there, that's definitely lipstick. YouTubers don't get the respect that they should get. People sit there and do their makeup for like two hours before coming on camera because they want to look good for y'all. On the other hand, I always come on here, oh, naturel. Not always, but most of the time. But yeah, it's a lot of work that goes into this, you guys. There's a lot of work that goes into what these people do. Mad respect. Also, I did not put the mask on because I know that my lips weren't dry and I'm trying to wrap this thing up. I'm hungry. Like I said before, I'm hungry. I want to eat. So, but I know that when I pressed it here, the foundation is set. It is not going anywhere. I also know that I have to use more foundation than I had been using because usually it's kind of like blotchy. Whereas now... It is so even. So don't be stingy with these things, you guys, because they can dry out, they can act funny, the pump can start malfunctioning, and then all the, the while you've been keeping all this makeup in for what? Just wear a mask and be considerate of others because it's the right thing to do. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay, well, that was one long, long video. Uh, not hers, but what I've been doing. Um, it took me a long time. This really worked. I really liked it. If you like this and you want to see more of this, this is a lifestyle channel. I do everything up in here. So make sure you hit bump stump and turn on that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and learned a lot from Queen Jackiana. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one, which will be very soon. I post multiple videos a week. I do commentary. 
lifestyle videos uh and stuff like this apparently um i just do what i like you know this is where whatever pops into my head pops into your screen and you will love it so join the family and yeah i'll see you in the next one make time for glorious life it's time to start a what living it right and that means with a mask without a mask you can breathe you can breathe through them all the surgeons doctors nurses whatever they're all breathing through them okay they're all using them to save your life and your neighbor's life and your your family's life so cut the crap wear a mask okay goodbye <laughs>